it's a fuzzy, hazy, um, like, dream. Um, but I can see, like, Pamela Anderson mm -hmm. running wet, you know, out of the TV. And <laughs> David Hasselhoff, like, rescuing somebody. But uh, I was pretty young. Well, I think um, uh, he starts off, he's a very kind of, had to protect himself his whole life. I think he's pretty closed off to other people. He doesn't trust many people. And um, uh, he's, you know, clearly relatively selfish. Um, he doesn't need or want anyone's help, but he's incredibly lonely and depressed. So uh, when he shows up at Baywatch and sees this you know, very tight-knit group of friends actually, you know, saving lives. He's, like, taken aback. I think he's kind of afraid at first, like, like th this is real. And then he, he sees that that's actually something he may want to be a part of. Like, that's what being a good person is. It's a huge honor to be a Baywatch babe and to be able to put that on my resume. Um, and it did, you know, I, as soon as I heard I got the role, I trained a lot and then I think I think the tone of the film is I call it um, the the fish bowl so either you're inside the fish bowl or you're outside of the fish bowl and the people in Baywatch are in the fish bowl and they, that's their reality and then people like like um, Matt Brody are they come in but they're outside of the fish bowl and they're like what this is ridiculous. You guys are insane. Right. Like the, yeah, but I insane. come in and I'm immediately in the fishbowl. I'm like, yes, this is, this is what reality is. So it's sort of interesting to see the relationship between the people in the fishbowl and outside of it. And, you know, as part of preparing for this role, I just had to, you know, um, commit to being in Baywatch. I think that working with Dwayne and the experience on San Andreas really helped just as far as, you know, getting to know Dwayne and knowing how he works and he really inspires confidence and when you go to do a film with him you know that he's going to do the best job he possibly can do and make the film as good as it can be and that it's great to be part of something that you really believe in and, and having him on board really helps with that. I was definitely more excited than I was nervous. I mean, I, I love, I grew up watching Baywatch. I, I, you know, when the, the script showed up in my inbox I was just ecstatic that they were making a remake and didn't even think I would be able to be a part of it. But, uh, you know, obviously it's a character that uh, everyone has a image of in their mind and I wanted to deliver on that and, and bring something new to it. So I, I yeah, obviously we're, we're making a comedy, so I, I hope to make it a little bit funnier than the, more funny than the original. And um, just um, a more modern, I made her a little bit more girl next door a little more obtainable, but but yeah, I, I had a big suit to fill. We were all, you know, felt we were wrapping up on something that was really special. And, and we were then, so stoked. Yeah, <laughs> so we were like, this like, is this is gonna work. That's so nice. I didn't, I didn't then, know until the, like the last day. I was yeah. Like, when she showed up. I was like, what? Yeah, I, I, it was kind of kept under wraps for a while, even for yeah. months. So, uh, yeah. it was it was pretty cool. But I think if you have some determination in the eyes and you can do it with a serious face, you can pull it off. And Is if it, you wear the right bra, then your boobs will bounce in just the right exactly. Baywatchy way. True. There was there was Preach. not a stitch. Uh, <laughs> there was not a stitch out of place on our swimsuit. So we were, uh, we were sewn in there pretty pretty tight. So there wasn't any wardrobe malfunction. Because it's, this, it's, it's sexy, it's action, it's um, a beautiful setting with beautiful people doing adventurous things. I mean, I think that has all the components of entertainment. Hey Lisa here, so you're a movie lover? Well, in this day and age we see hundreds of movies a year in numerous genres like action, comedy, romance and more. Some of these movies are great and some just don't live up to our expectations. For all you movie lovers out there, here are some interesting facts from movies that you might or might not know. In the movie Carrie, the end of the movie was shot in reverse order, a technique of the film to make scenes look more ghost-like. A close viewing of the film will show cars moving in reverse. 
What do the 101 Dalmatians and Wendy from Peter Pan have in common? The 102 characters are the only characters in Disney's past to have both of their parents present and alive for the whole course of the movie. Gone with the Wind producers were fined $5,000 for allowing obscenities in the film's dialogue. The offensive and expensive word, damn. One of the films Will Smith is best known for almost didn't happen. The actor didn't want to participate in Men in Black until his wife persuaded him otherwise. In the film Monsters, Inc., Boo has a woody doll. That's the famous cowboy from Toy Story. Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was based on a former boyfriend of writer J.K. Rowling. I Know Who Killed Me, starring Lindsay Lohan, has had the most Razzie Awards ever given to a film. Now, the Razzies are awards for the worst in movies. So, did you know any of these facts? Did you find them interesting? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.